Okay, pet parents, so we want to talk about an insulinoma. Well, this should be a relatively short video, but you know that's not how I roll, so let's get into it. Cue up the intro, Blue. Obviously, I have to start by breaking that word down. So, oma means tumor, and insulin means, well, it means insulin. Okay, class, everybody on the count of three, one, two, if we smush those two words together, an insulinoma is an insulin tumor. I really hope I haven't lost anybody so far. Come back, sir! That's the wrong way! Are you sure? How can you screw this up when the stairs are right in front of your face? What? Now, technically speaking, because insulin is a hormone and not an organ, I know, real groundbreaking stuff here. An insulinoma is an insulin producing tumor. Now the organ that's responsible for producing our insulin is going to be the pancreas. And for those of you that have watched my videos on pancreatitis and EPI, go watch the videos now if you haven't seen them. You know that there's two parts of the pancreas. There's an endocrine portion and an exocrine portion. Now the endocrine portion of the pancreas is what's gonna be responsible for producing our insulin. Specifically, it's going to be the beta cells of the endocrine portion of the pancreas. So an insulinoma is going to be a tumor of the beta cells specifically of the pancreas. For those of you that don't know, insulin is a hormone that's responsible for taking glucose or sugar that's circulating in our blood system and driving it into the cells so that they can use it for energy. Just a spoonful of sugar. Help diabetes, come on. And when there's a tumor producing way more insulin than the body's used to, what ends up happening is the blood sugar levels go to very concerningly low levels. So it would stand the reason that the clinical signs of an insulinoma are all going to be related to a low blood sugar. For the most part, we will diagnose an insulinoma by checking the insulin levels when the blood sugar is very, very low. Because if the body is functioning appropriately when the blood sugar levels are very, very low, the insulin levels should also be very, very low. But when there's a tumor producing more insulin than normal, what we tend to see is the insulin level is very high compared to the low blood sugar. We treat insulinomas in one of two ways. Ideally, we would go in surgically and remove the tumor, but that's not always a viable option for every patient. So the second thing we can do is medically manage the insulinoma. Now there's a whole bunch of different random medications we may use depending on how complicated it is to manage, but the two staples of medically managing an insulinoma are going to be steroids and then feeding a pet smaller meals very frequently throughout the course of the day to keep blood sugar levels high enough to prevent clinical signs. 